In this video, we are going to walk you through the operating steps of our cabinet frequency converter. It's rated at 220 volts AC for input power source and 5 kVA in capacity. Without much ado, let's get started. Press the button to flip on the lock and pull open the cover. The input and output wiring section is located inside. Remove the cover plate using a screwdriver, and the arrangement of wiring terminals appears in front of you. Uncover the terminal block. As the label below describes, the left two lines are used for input connection, and the two lines to the right are for output connection, with the red terminal being live and the blue one being neutral. The middle line of terminals is for ground connection. Screw up the live and neutral wires on the input side to finish input wiring. Fasten up the ground wire in the same way to make sure the device is properly grounded. Now the wiring is done. Shut the protection cover. We're gonna use a multimeter to test the converter. Flip on the input breaker switch. Press the green button to power on the device. The default frequency and voltage show 60 Hz and 110 volts. The frequency can be adjusted by pressing those tiny buttons. And you can regulate the amount of voltage turning this knob. And we're gonna set the voltage to 120 volts. Flip on the output breaker to complete the circuit. Attach the probes to the output terminals to measure the output. As you can see, the meter registers 120 volts. Let's check out the frequency. It's 60 Hz, that's right. Then, we'll convert the frequency to 50 Hz and switch to higher voltage range pressing the yellow button. Now that the yellow button is lightened, the voltage has been set to the higher range. Turn down the voltage to 230 volts. And flip on the output breaker switch. Continue to use the meter to test the circuit. It reads 230 volts and 50 hertz. Test complete. The result shows the converter works perfectly. To shut down the device, flip off the output breaker, restore the yellow button, press the red off button and turn off the input breaker. That's the end of the demo. Hope you enjoy it and find it helpful.